Hi, Deej here. Welcome to the final part in my review of the fantastic book The Traveller's Gift by Andy Andrews. There's one destination left for our traveller David Ponder, but first let's have a review of where he's been so far and let's have a quick summary of the seven decisions for success. So first of all, an office in Germany, 1945, where David met President Truman the day the president signed the document giving clearance to drop the atomic bomb on Japan. President Truman gave David the first decision for success. The book stops here. Secondly, David found himself in the court of King Solomon, often referred to as the wise king. But it turned out that much of Solomon's wisdom was, in part at least, gleaned from his many advisers, the people he chose to keep around him. I will seek wisdom is the second decision for success that Solomon gave to him. I will listen only to those and read only that which increases my belief in myself and my future. In short, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Thirdly, the Battle of Gettysburg and Colonel Joshua Chamberlain, who, when faced with overwhelming odds, turned the tables on his enemy and charged them, causing them to turn on their heels and run. I am a man of action. When I am faced with the choice of doing nothing or doing something, I will choose to act. Next, David met Christopher Columbus on the Santa Maria far out into the Atlantic Ocean. When asked, do you know where you are? Christopher Columbus replied, I know where I'm going. Columbus gave David the fourth decision for success. I have a decided heart. A wise man once said, every thousand mile journey starts with a single step. Today, I take that first step. Fifth, David met Anne Frank, a Jewish girl, hiding in a tiny space with eight, uh, seven others at the top of a warehouse during the uh, German occupation of the Netherlands. In the face of all this hardship though, Anne refused to be daunted. I choose to be happy, she said. Happiness is a choice, not a situation. And she gave David the fifth decision for success. Today, I will choose to be happy. Following this, David met Abraham Lincoln just prior to the uh, address, the Gettysburg Address. What will you do, asked David, when hostilities end? The very next day, said Abraham Lincoln, I will greet the day with a forgiving spirit. How can you possibly do that, said David. Abraham Lincoln explained, too much time is spent on those who we feel have supposedly wronged us in some way. We need to forgive them, we need to move on. I will greet the day with a forgiving spirit. But most importantly, I will forgive myself. Finally, David found himself in an infinite warehouse. It was full of inventions that never quite came to be, children that never quite came to be born, the place that never was. And here he met the archangel Gabriel. The tragedy of life, said Gabriel, is not that man loses. The tragedy of life is that man almost wins. Gabriel gave David the seventh decision for success. I will hold fast to my desire. I know my dreams. I will persist. I will not give up. I will persist without exception. The seventh decision for success. So this brings us to the last decision for success. I will persist without exception. Now David has one more destination on his journey. One more place to go. But I'm not going to tell you where it is. Because I don't want to ruin the book for you. I highly recommend this book. It started changing my life. Maybe if you read it, it could change yours too. Read and enjoy The Traveller's Gift by Andy Andrews. Thank you.